as we begin looking for information, whether that's uh, for an article or for images, etc., it's always good to take some time to brainstorm keywords. Uh, I'm going to describe why we do that, and then in a separate video, I'll discuss how we go about doing that on the fly, so to speak. When we brainstorm for keywords, what we're actually doing is we're trying to describe something in the world around us. Now, the image that I've displayed for you here is of an animal. Well, animal is a pretty broad term, right? So we might want to be more specific. Some of you might look at this image and think, well, that's a puppy. Some of you might just have said something a little bit broader, uh, like dog. A puppy is a certain age of dog. You may have referred to this as a canine if you're sort of in the scientific community or if you think about searching a particular database, they would use canine perhaps. You might refer to a specific breed of dog, like a golden retriever. Golden retriever is different from you know, a dachshund or some other type of dog. You may just say it's flippin' adorable and move on, and, and uh, but that's not going to be very helpful. So we want to be more specific, as specific as possible within our searching. You might then say, well, this is a cute puppy. You can give some qualifiers. You can do some uh, adjectives. You can describe this puppy. You might say, well, a cute puppy will get me one type of result, but what if I search for something different, like an angry dog? The image results I'll get, or the article results, if I'm in a database for articles, will be different because I've described the topic differently. I've determined the age of this animal, and I've just determined the uh, emotional state of the animal as well, and maybe the, a descriptive term, rather. You might say, I want a sleepy golden retriever puppy, and that gets you a very specific type of result, and because we use very specific search terms, sleepy, golden retriever is the breed, and then an age for puppy. If you look at an image like this, what comes to mind? We notice the fields, we notice the sky, but we also notice there are a whole series of what? Windmills? Are they wind turbines? Some of you may have thought, well, that's a certain type of um, energy. It's a renewable energy, or maybe it's an alternative energy. That's another way to describe that. So sometimes when we think about our search terms, we need to think about are there other related words or are there other synonyms that might equally describe that particular topic. A windmill and a wind turbine are essentially the same thing. Sometimes they might result in slightly different uh, images, but it's good to keep that in mind while you're doing your searching so you know kind of what you want to search for. We think of topics in terms of an inverted pyramid. So energy in this particular example is at the very top. It's a broad, broad topic, very wide in what it encompasses. But we can become more focused about that type of energy by saying, well, I'm interested in fossil fuels or I'm interested in renewable energies. Uh, those are very different, but they're both types of energy. If I take renewable energy and I think about the types of renewable energy, I might come up with something even more focused like solar, wind, biofuels, etc. So sometimes when you're thinking about the search terms to use, sometimes we start too broad, and sometimes we start too narrow. And it's really about figuring out where in that structure, you know, where in that sort of broad inverted pyramid do we want to be? Do I want to look for articles or images about renewable energy? Is that broad enough? Is it too broad? Do I want to focus down on a particular type of energy, renewable energy? So keep that in mind when you're doing your uh, keyword searching. You're brainstorming for that. And that's sort of the reason why we do it, because the way we describe things can vary depending on our various cultures, our experiences, and also just within the systems themselves, the types of focus that we apply to our search terms. If you have any questions about this, reach out to a librarian. We're always happy to help.